good team, great practices, and uh, so far I'm very excited about the level of excitement, energy, enthusiasm, teamwork, uh, getting good individual technique work done. Uh, I think we're improving as a football team, and that was the main goal since we did lose a lot of seniors to have uh, more team-oriented things and team-focused things this spring, and I feel like we're accomplishing that. In Division Three, there's a different set of rules for spring practice. We're not allowed to put on a helmet, a shoulder pad. We're not allowed to use equipment other than a football and really a blocking shield, and that's it. So you're limited to what you can do as far as your drills and your teamwork. So it's not the same as Division I, Division II, 1AA rules. We're on a separate set of rules. We're working on techniques and fundamentals, uh, teamwork, conditioning, just improving them as uh, student athletes throughout the whole process of our spring ball. And a lot of it really comes down to team building for us. We're spending a lot more time on the team building aspect than we do during the normal season. You have to keep in mind, we're not playing real football in spring. You don't put on a helmet and shoulder pads. There's a lot of guys that are really good at running 40 yard dashes and control football you know, 80 yards and catch everything. And when you're in shorts and a t-shirt, it's one thing. But when the bullets are flying and guys are hitting and it's live contact, it's a whole new ball game. So you can find out a lot about individuals and their place on the depth chart by evaluating them athletically. How, how much attention do they play, pay to the details of their fundamentals? Are they learning our system on offense and defense in the kicking game? Are they mentally into it? How do they conduct themselves on and off the field in spring practice? How do they interact with their teammates? How well do they take coaching? All of those things you can evaluate, and that's all important when you set a depth chart. Bottom line is, who's gonna make plays when it comes game time? So scrimmage time is limited, your amount of contact. Who can really tackle somebody? Hopefully they all can or they wouldn't be here, but you don't know a lot about 30 or so freshmen who didn't get a lot of reps in the fall. They were mainly scout team players. But we're, we're evaluating every day on all those other aspects. How they doing with schoolwork, how they doing with the fundamental and their technique work, how they doing with knowledge of the playbook. And then what kind of guys are they in work at? It's not the same as starting from scratch, but in some ways you are because we're gonna be playing a whole bunch of opponents this year that we've never played before. Um, we have played Frostburg one time. We've played Salisbury, we're aware of them. We played Wesley a couple of times. We played Rowan in the past. We played Keene one time in the NCAA playoffs. Uh, Hampton Sydney is our non-conference game. We're familiar with them. But William Patterson, Montclair State, uh, the College of New Jersey, Southern Virginia are teams we've never faced. So it'll be a learning curve for us as well as it will for them. So what we're doing in the off season is getting some film together and preparing some uh, film work that we've taken from uh, an exchange with both of them, with all of those teams to get an idea of what they're doing. This is a brand new team and it's not quite complete because we'll have a set of recruits and maybe a couple of transfers that will join us in the fall. The, the difference will be this fall we'll report with 125 players as compared to 135 in the past and that is a New Jersey Athletic Conference rule. Greg Shockley has taken over our quarterbacks. Uh, came to us from VMIs, coached at Virginia Tech, William & Mary VMI, now here at CNU. He didn't know anything about the guys we have at quarterback other than what he read in the program. So he gives a fresh perspective into the evaluation of those seven guys that my eyes are different than his. I've seen those guys through their freshman year. Tyler Quigley and uh, Arzea Robinson, I've seen them for three years. So I have an idea what they can do, but he's bringing a fresh perspective on those two guys especially, because those are the two guys that are doing the main competition for quarterback. And then on the defensive side of the ball, Jay Curlin has familiarity with us as an opposing coach going against us in the past few years, but he played ball here. He went to school and he coached here. So he knows our program, he knows our system, but he didn't know all those guys on defense. So his look at them in the first time gives us something different than what we've seen. And that's really helped us this spring. I graduated in May of 2010. Uh, very excited to come back and, and work under my former head coach uh, and an alumni of the institution. It's a very, uh, it's almost like a homecoming. So it's been really nice this past 14 practices, getting to know the team and uh, the opportunity to work for the campus that I graduated from is something that's really exciting for myself. I think the first thing is really getting to know everybody who's in the program, getting to know their names, understand their personalities, and really just 
understand where they come from and, and, and what they've done for this team so far. Um, from a football perspective, just getting through the fundamentals of the defense, learning to understand who these players are uh, and get a good feel for how they can fit into the program. It's, it, there's so many different building blocks to your, your process and within spring ball, the academic side of it's so important for us. There's so many other realms that you have to go through with these guys, with these student athletes to get them ready to, to be back here August 12th. And you know, one of the biggest ones here, this is a competitive environment, not only athletically, but academically, this is no joke. As we say a lot, this ain't JV, this is varsity when it comes to academics at CNU. So we want our guys to be on their game for the next few weeks as we finish spring football going into finals.